morning guys it's felicia with happily ever after living today is sunday december 4th and i slept in today in today's video what i would like to do is a meal plan video um i think i'm also going to do a grocery haul and also like meal prep video so i may end up dividing those into like three different videos because i am trying to do vlogmas but first before i go on you guys we need to see how much money i have because i'm reaching into my bag now which by the way actually i didn't even take this bag yesterday i had my purse but this is my work bag i'll do a video on my work bag soon i actually need my purse sorry guys i told you like i am not together to be quite honest with you guys i feel like i'm more alert when i wake up at like 4 a.m than i am when i sleep in we need to see how much money i have because i did some i did some spending yesterday that i didn't budget for we need to see how much money i have because i did some spending yesterday that i didn't budget for let me get the light all right, so I did some spending yesterday that I didn't budget for. So we need to look in my wallet and see how much cash I have because your girl may end up having to do a pantry challenge. So I have this like tucked aside for my hair appointment this week. And then I have, I spent, all right, so let me think about like how much did I actually spend? So I think it was like $165 in gifts that I need to put back into the bank so this is all the money i have like i may have to like borrow from myself from my hair let's let's see here so i've basically been using cash like in my miscellaneous items food and all of that so we've got 100 20 40 60 50 70 no 50 60 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, and then what's that? 78, $178. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what did I do? Oh my gosh. So technically, all of this money needs to go back to the bank for. The spending that I did yesterday, which will basically leave me like with nothing for this week's grocery haul. So now I need to decide if I want to stick to the budget or do I want to break the budget? I got to see what I have. My refrigerator also needs to be cleaned out. Let's just take a quick look at the freezer, see if we have any meat. All right. So technically I could wait for that to thaw out and I can do some chicken. That would probably take a long time. Oh, we've got collard greens from Thanksgiving. Okay, we've got chicken here and we've got turkey. So I'm gonna take the turkey breast out because that would thaw a lot faster. And then I could do one of these too, I guess. I don't really wanna eat that. Oh, I'll cook it. We're gonna eat it, okay. And then, so burgers running low. We've got beans. Oh my gosh. And then as I mentioned, my fridge is a mess, but I'll go through here and see what I can find. I'm feeling some type of way because someone like accidentally sent me, they were trying to send it to someone else, but they accidentally sent me this like, um, what do you call it? Twice baked, baked potato recipe, but it wasn't like, potato it was cauliflower and I was like oh my gosh I think I'm gonna make that so I've been wanting that but I don't have money right now to make that unless I break my budget what do I do no no I am working on being the woman that I say I want to be so I'm gonna stick to my budget I'm gonna stick to the budget. I've, I'll be back. I need to clean my refrigerator and I've gotta find food to cook. So technically I can't even do like a meal plan right now until I figure out what we have and then from there I'll know what we're gonna eat for the week. Oh, also you guys, I went to toss up some clothes real quickly and then I saw these items and I was like, oh, you should share with them what you spent more discretionary money on yesterday. So I went by Marshall's and I bought myself another body scrub because I ran out of the other one. You guys, I'm really in this phase right now and I'll probably show you guys, like that would be a great video. Um, not weight loss related, but kind of weight loss related because I found the more minimum and declutter my life is, it just really helps me to be able to focus on this journey more. So I'll probably show you guys like under my bathroom sink. What I try to do is like use an item completely like in its entirety before purchasing another item. So previously, let me go grab it. Okay, so here 
here is my previous scrub and as you can see like we're almost out of that it's probably not showing up but this one is by um tea tree i'm sorry tree hut i really like their stuff so this was like almost gone so i replaced it with this and then my dr bronner soap is completely out like i ordered the big 32 ounce containers um my shipment won't be here until like later this week so i picked this up which is like a soothing rose oil body wash and it was 6.99 this one was 5.99 so i'll just use this in its entirety and then after that i'll use my dr bronner's and i actually ordered two 32 ounce bottles this time um i also purchased this from marshall's it was 4.99 this is a neutrogena hydro boost cleanser like facial cleanser and i purchased this because this one's like almost out i don't know if you guys can see it's like down there and then i also purchased this a cure facial scrub it says brightening facial scrub but honestly you guys i don't buy into all of that like i've used this before because it has like the charcoal and stuff in it and it's cruelty free like it's like black oh it's not open yet but when you use it it's like black it has like charcoal and stuff in it honestly like when it comes to like facial brightening and all this if you're using a scrub and you're like gently exfoliating the top layer not just in your face but anywhere in the body then technically the next layer is going to be like shine brighter like so i don't buy into the marketing but i do like the scrub and i purchased it because this one is completely out this was my neutrogena facial scrub but i got this for six bucks at marshall's i spent money on this i spent money on gifts and so what i've been doing is like just only using cash for like food and miscellaneous items and you know like certain categories and i'm finding that it's keeping me on track a lot better because i really do have some pretty serious financial goals that i'm trying to meet and just to share with you guys a lot of that is college <laughs> for our daughter and then also i want to be able to um invest more money like into my brand so yeah i've got to cut back in other areas and that's why it looks like i'm gonna have to eat from the pantry this week but let's see all right guys so i basically emptied out the refrigerator i didn't clean it like i was gonna do like a refrigerator clean out with you guys but i am not in the mood like today is not the day i don't feel like cleaning it i did wipe it down but let me show you where we are okay so i wiped it down so that we can start with the clean slate and let me show you the items that we have for the week. I took these from the pantry because I think I'm gonna make a soup. We have some navy beans and crushed tomatoes and chicken broth that has not been opened. So I think I'm gonna use that for a soup. But here's everything from the fridge. We've got some peppers, some green onions, some tomatoes, blueberries, and I think these should stay well for the week. Radish, cucumbers, Brussels sprouts, I'm gonna cook these today and I think it should be fine they're not too bruised and ugly they'll be fine more blueberries we've got some um, more tomatoes one pepper here some raspberries which I'm gonna eat today because they're about to go bad um, carrot stick some ham from Thanksgiving so I'm actually going to use this I think I'm gonna make a few soups today and then freeze some of this and yeah i'll figure that out okay as you can tell we have lots of eggs so we have ducks and we have friends that have chickens so these are chicken eggs duck eggs and then we like we eat a lot of eggs so i think i'm going to make like an egg bake with zucchini because we have tons of zucchini celery some bacon which i'm probably going to eat today and strawberries more blueberries those are the peppers left there and then as far as my salads go because you guys know i enjoy having salads every day i've got romaine here romaine there and more romaine here but i think i'm going to go ahead and prep them in my containers the way that i usually do just to be sure that the romaine does not go bad and then i'll put them in the mason jars um some peppers zucchini celery some mixed greens which i'm probably going to eat today no actually i'm going to have kale today i'll show you that more peppers here this is all the cheese that we have so i think that i have like five some five eight dollars and i was like maybe i should go get cheese i don't know we'll see how the week goes i'm just going to use what we have today for today's meal prompt and we have carrots and kale greens which i am probably going to eat this entire bag today i am going to cook this and i'll eat this entire bag today just for myself because yesterday i didn't eat any greens 
so I want to eat some greens today. Um, now let me show you what I pulled from the freezer. So from the freezer, we have three one pound, one pound, wait, I'm sorry, that's ground chicken. Wait, what is this? Ground turkey and ground turkey. So two packs of ground turkey, one pack of ground chicken, some chicken thighs here, and then this whole chicken. This whole chicken is going to take forever and a day to thaw out. So I'm gonna allow this to just kind of like take its time. I'll put it back in the refrigerator and just let it take its time. And then maybe on Tuesday, I'll put that in the Instant Pot so that we have some more chicken for the rest of the week. But for this, I'm actually considering, actually, I don't know yet exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, so from this part of the video, you guys see everything that I have. I would love to hear down in the comment section, what would you do with this food? Like, if this is what you have for the week, what would you do? So my plan from here is to take this pad and sit down and go ahead and kind of figure out what I'm going to eat for the week. More than likely, I'll prep all of this food. And we also have rice and like pasta if I needed it. And then I'll sit down and like write and figure out what I am actually gonna eat. I kinda wanna have like somewhat of a game plan. So let me do that. All right, so the first thing that I'm thinking is once I make the um, soups, I can do like soups, I can do the navy beans um, plus ham and basically like just using like the ham to season the navy beans. So that'll be one soup. And then I saw that I also have lentils in the pantry. So I can do like lentils and then um, take like the carrots and all of that stuff and peppers and um, some tomatoes and make a really nice hearty soup with that as well. So lentils plus veggies. And with all of these, I can pair them with um, like Ezekiel bread if I chose to. Hold on a second, my dog's get like whining. Okay, sorry about that. And if you heard me, yeah, I was about to say that he's getting on my nerves because sometimes when it's just he and I, he wants like all of my attention. But I was wrong in that time, so I'm glad that I actually got up because he wanted to go outside. So back to what I was saying. If I wanted toast, then I can do like Ezekiel bread for myself. And then we also have like Texas toast, um, a few pieces of that left. And then we also have like regular bread so the family could eat that. Um, and then I could also pair it with a salad. So I can do soup and salad. Yeah, I'm sorry, I started writing and I got lost. So yeah, I can do like soup and salads for a few of my meals for the week. And then also I was thinking with that, you guys saw the ground turkey. So I was thinking about taking the ground turkey and the ground chicken and just mixing it. Like no one's gonna know, my family won't know. I don't think they'll be able to tell the difference. And maybe like make some meatballs with that and that will give something different like versus just doing like a regular spaghetti. I can make meatballs with that and then we have some pasta sauce and I looked in the pantry, I also had the ragu sauce like for myself. So I'll probably just have like meatballs with like a little bit of sauce. I wish I had some ricotta cheese because one time before, I put like meatballs on top of some ricotta cheese and that was really, really good like without eating the pasta. Um, but I'll probably just have like the meatballs by themselves for a quick snack or a quick meal. But for them, they can have like meatballs and spaghetti, pasta or whatever. Also, I had the chicken thighs. So the chicken thighs, I'm just gonna prep those and put them in a the refrigerator and they can just be eaten at, at will. Like whoever wants to eat them can eat them but I'm feeling much better now. Um, yeah, I think I feel a little bit better. In the plans, we have two different soups for the week, and then we have salads, which I'll prep, and then we have the meatballs and pasta sauce, and we also have rice. So I'll cook rice, so like if someone wanted like um, beans and rice, then they can have that, or if they wanted like a little bit of rice in their soup. You can just continue to mix it up. Do you guys kind of see where I'm going here? And then you can also drop in like more veggies, you know, to keep it, interesting and exciting or just um, mix and match. And then also you guys heard me talk about um, the egg bake. Oh yeah, so the egg bake, I think I'm gonna do like um, the egg bake with zucchini. Um, it does not sound yummy to me at all. Like just hearing me say that, I'm like, oh my gosh, that does not sound good. Egg bake, so it basically be like a layer of zucchini. That doesn't sound good. That don't sound good to me, egg bake with zucchini. But I have a ton of zucchini. Maybe I'll take some of the kale greens that I cooked today and put in some kale. That doesn't sound good either. Um, usually I'll do spinach. Like spinach is not as bitter as kale. Um, you guys help me out. 
So what sounds good? Egg, bacon. I can use the bacon instead of eating it today. I could cook that bacon and crumble it in there. Um, tomatoes, I have tomatoes. I can put those in there. Oh, I have green onions. We can do that, green onion. And what else? That sounds good, right? And maybe like little pieces of zucchini, but not having zucchini as like the Yo, I'm zucchini, I'm here. I'm like the overpower. Um, Yeah, so that's what I'll do, all right? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So that is the meal plan for the week. You guys can see here, I have it all jotted down. So I think what I'm gonna do, because I am trying to do Vlogmas where I upload every day, is that I will let this video be like the video for today and then I'll edit and upload this one. And if you guys come back in tomorrow's video, because I did not prep yesterday, like I should have maybe taken everything out and had the meat all thought out, but now I've gotta like flip my day and I need to wait for everything to thaw out before I can even cook it. So if you guys come back in tomorrow's video, you'll see like the full prep and all of that. So yeah, so I hope this was helpful. I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that this helps you guys. Like if you're in a similar situation to where I am. Okay, so like let's address the title of the video. So the title of the video is like, am I broke? No, I'm not broke, but there are so many other financial obligations right now that we have. I mentioned um, college, you know, being a huge one because as you guys know, like you're aware inflation prices are up everywhere and the amount of money is like as I was doing next year's budget. So for our daughter like her rent will increase and then also food and gas because i she and i talk a lot and like we do her budgets and stuff and i can see like she's i'm not gonna say she's barely making it of course this kid is living her best college life but food is more expensive and my goal has always been for her to graduate college debt free so you know we've got to like spend our dollars wisely and there's just a lot of big things and the economy right now is just so there's a lot of unknown for next year so i'm really trying to like buckle down and just be wise about the way in which we spend our money but yeah i really hope that you guys found this video help i hope that it encourages you to use what try to use up what you already have number one it definitely decreases food waste but it also allows you to save money and it allows you to be like creative and think outside of the box and i think you'll be surprised as to how receptive your family will be with the new meals or food choices that you put in front of them. So as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.